when it comes to tiny red bugs, identification is a vital first step to determining the best form of control. Clover mites and chiggers are two tiny red bugs that are commonly mistaken for one another, but the damage they cause is different. Clover mites target shrubs and other plants, while chiggers target humans and small animals. So in this video, we'll go over the differences between chiggers and clover mites so you can control your infestation. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. Because they're so small, it's challenging to tell clover mites apart from chiggers and vice versa. However, there are key differences in their physical appearances. Adult clover mites grow up to 1 30th of an inch in length, and adult chiggers grow to be 1 60th of an inch, so even smaller. While you'll at least be able to see clover mites with your naked eye, you'll still need magnification to see their physical features. Clover mites have a pair of front legs that are significantly longer than the other pairs, and they have ovular-shaped bodies. Adult chiggers, on the other hand, have almost strawberry-shaped bodies. Clover mites are usually found outdoors on foliage along your home's perimeter and around entry points like doors, windows, cracks, and crevices. In cooler weather, they can invade indoors and infest houseplants as they look for warmth and shelter. Chiggers are only found outdoors and do not invade indoor spaces. They prefer moist, overgrown wooded habitats with shaded soil. They can also be found around lakes, swamps, and rivers. Though clover mites can infest indoors, they do not bite people. They feed by piercing plants and ingesting the sap. If you're being bitten, you're likely being bitten by larval chiggers. Remember, adult chiggers do not bite. Larval chiggers feed on their host's skin cells, leaving itchy red bumps or welts. The bites are typically found around the waist, ankles, behind the knee, and wherever else clothing is tight. Although chiggers and clover mites are both small red arachnids, they are physiologically different pests that require unique approaches to treatment. To get rid of either pest, we recommend you use a broadly labeled insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is made with 7.9% bifenthrin and will leave a long-lasting residual that will control pests for up to 90 days. To get rid of clover mites, mix and apply 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of Supreme IT. Broadcast the solution over your lawn and any shrubs or ornamentals on your property. Then, spray any entry points around the outside of your home, like doors, windows, vent openings, and other voids in the wall. Once you've treated entry points, conduct a perimeter treatment around your structure by spraying 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out around its perimeter. Avoid overlapping this application with your prior treatment. This will kill any clover mites in the applied areas and prevent them from invading your home or structure. To kill clover mites infesting houseplants, directly treat them with pirate insecticide aerosol. This product is made with 0.5% pyrethrins and the synergist piperonyl butoxide. Pests that come in contact with the spray will have their nervous systems impacted and will be immediately knocked down. To get rid of chiggers, first mow your lawn to its proper height and trim any overgrown shrubbery to reduce their harborages. Then mix and apply one whole fluid ounce of Supreme IT. Like with clover mites, you'll broadcast your solution over your lawn and any shrubs or ornamentals on your property. Clover mites and chiggers may look similar, but it's important you're able to identify their differences. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop clover mites and chiggers from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.